All right. You yeah, want to yeah. can can you explain the yeah, heart shield? Here's the um, on the back of all the artwork that I do. I built a a piece. I call it a sky heart. Um, and I do some artwork which relates to the piece on the front. Uh, that's unique to each piece. The sky heart m blends the uh, energies of both the earth and it has a cardio synchronizer program that I coded in the chip. It's powered by RF energy harvesting, just like an old time crystal radio. So that's what powers the electronics. And it um, has a little teeny diamond at the tip of the gold disc. So it works with different energies of different metals. The base metal is copper. I find that copper is the best grounding earth energy metal. And then on top of that is brass, which is copper and zinc together. And then on, on top of that is a matrix of carbon nanotubes. The carbon is very important because carbon is what defines life. Everything that's living has carbon in it. And the carbon acts as the antenna, the carbon nanotubes acts as the antenna to bring in um, the RF energy to actually power the low power chips. On top of that is another um, plate of copper. So there's a capacitance effects between the carbon and the um, copper. On top of that is there's a, 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 a um, turquoise, it's called Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, that's mined from the Kingman Mine in Arizona. There's one here and one here. And so in this stack here are the two program chips. The program chip is called an FPGA, come from a company called Xilinx. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array, and it's a type of chip that one can code. It's like a blackboard. You can make it do anything. So I have a specialty in what's called neuromorphic and uh, programming where the chip will self-propagate. And so if it's self-aware, in other words, if it's not self-aware, it's not neuromorphic. So it becomes self-aware and I programmed in here, a, uh, a car I call it the cardio synchronizer program, which will synchronize with the person when they come in proximity it synchronizes with their heartbeat, and that is married with the Schumann resonance from the Earth at whatever point of time they're in. The Schumann resonance varies. There's no fixed Schumann resonance. In other words, here we are in this part of Taos. If we go up to El Rito, the resonance from the Earth will be different, subtly different. It's a harmonic, actually, of many, many frequencies. Like an, when you hear an organ go in, you hear harmonics, subharmonics it's like that so um, on top of the chips is a little uh, gold disc a 14 karat gold and on top of that is a little teeny diamond which is pure carbon the diamond is pure carbon I always put that here is a quartz crystal oscillator circuit here all micro miniaturized because of cell phone technology everything's become flat low power and micro sized and um, I started working with these quartz crystal oscillators because of a technical paper that I read called Managing Computer Chaos with Quartz Crystal Oscillator Circuits. So it helps with managing chaos. And then at the bottom is a turquoise I bought back in the 90s when I was buying turquoise from the Bisbee Mine in, uh, in Arizona. And then I also put a, a name in a title plate and the embossing which appears here and also on the front is Sky David in Braille. And so it's like a, a way of um, uniquely offering the pieces. And that wood there is Indian, uh, uh, Honduras rosewood and the lapis. All the things they make have a lapis stone because the lapis is associated with Merlin, the magician. The, uh, the, the magician king who can transmute elements uh, at a subtle level so so that gives an explanation of what's there and then I make the frame and do all the woodworking and um, I learned woodworking from a little age from, from my father he made all our toys and um, 
my father, there's a picture. My father helped me build a crystal radio at age two. And I had, I was the eldest in a um, Polish, um, Belarus immigrant family. Uh, I mean, not, I don't use my last name. It's P-R-E-Z-S-U-Z-K-I-W-A-N-I-E. Well. Shortened to pi. <laughs> <laughs> Worst little letter. <laughs> So that's a phonetic, but uh, um, and the, and the David is like my first name, and the Sky is a nickname. When I function as a LERP, stands for Long Range Reconnaissance Patrol with the 82nd Airborne Division of the Army. In the late 60s, um, the code name SKY would represent null threat, and if it was spelled SKI. That would be in threat uh, level four or above, as in capture and interrogation, which I actually have experienced so, in a much earlier life, 50 years ago. So, anyway, that that gives a little bit of an explanation. So, this is called a strain relief. So I do the the entire framing myself, um, and so the pieces. When some, it's not just that someone gets the watercolor with pastel. They get a frame that I've made with, by doing fine woodworking, and the there's no shellac. I use a wax that's um, called salad bowl type wax that is FDA approved for food contact, so there's no smell of it. It's made of bees wax and a few other vegetable oils that absorbs into the wood and preserves the wood without any toxic aromatic, you know, petrochemical smells. And uh, and uh, there's one from a company called Chapman's that's FDA approved for contact with, you know, you can use it on a wooden Spoon. salad bowl. So that gives you an idea of how the wood is preserved. So I never stain the wood as I do. I always just bring out what's mm -hmm. there. And the wood was sanded to uh, 600 grit, so it's very smooth. This one here is redwood repurposed that I keep all my old woods. All right. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, Guy. Good. Yeah. All right.